All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's finally official. A couple days ago, Khabib the Eagle Nagamadov announced his retirement. A lot would consider him the GOAT of MMA, retiring as the lightweight champion. 29 wins and zero losses. It's rare that someone retires at the top with undefeated. Pretty much, he's, I think, the only person to do it in MMA. 29 and 0, 11 subs, 8 TKOs, 10 decisions. He fights out of AKA. Like I said, a lot of people consider him the GOAT. I don't, though. I don't think his uh, resume is impressive enough. He's fighting out of Russia, 32 years old in his prime. And supposedly, the reason he's retired is because he made his. Uh, Dad a promise before he died or an oath or something like that to where he wouldn't fight again or he would stop at 29 or 30. So because of that, because his father's death, um, he's retired. Dana's been, uh, Dana White's been teasing his comeback for a while, but it never happened. He re recently had a meeting with uh, Dana White in the UFC and uh, announced his retirement. That was a couple days ago. Um, some notable wins, his best wins, uh, Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor, Edson Barbosa, and Rafael Dos Anjos. And even though he's 29-0, and 0, um, his fighting style, uh, he, I mean, he's exciting at times, but for the most part, he does ground and pound, and it's pretty boring. And uh, fans and other people have complained about that. Uh, but, I mean, he he is a good fighter, undefeated, 29-0. and 0. Um, Not much else to say. But, I mean, with his resume, with the wins, besides Conor McGregor, I mean, to me, there's not enough uh, legends or big enough names on his resume to call him the GOAT. Gaethje's the Bellator champion, came over. Gaethje's a good fighter. I mean, I guess in the lightweight division besides Tony Ferguson, he's pretty much cleaned it out. It's just there wasn't big enough names to me in the lightweight uh, spot. Connor, he beat Connor. That was kind of an easy fight for him, though, because Connor was like, I don't even think Connor got up for that fight. And it was just obviously no match for Khabib. No match at all. Looked like he didn't even know how to fight out there. Uh, Michael Johnson rocked Khabib when they fought. Almost knocked him out. Khabib finished him though. Um, like I said, Gaethje, Proyer, and McGregor are the biggest names on his resume. So besides McGregor, I mean Proyer... He's at the top right now with Gaethje and uh, Tony Ferguson, the fight that everyone wanted to see. That never happened. And, uh, you know, Gaethje, Prory, and uh, McGregor is pretty much a legend, Hall of Famer. But Prory and Gaethje, they're just pretty much average fighters. Barbosa and Dos Anjos, they're average fighters. You know, they're good UFC caliber fighters, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, for, I guess, for his uh, weight class, the fighters at the time, you know, you can't, you can't fault him for that because he fought everyone besides Tony Ferguson. They tried to fight multiple times, but that fight just never happened. Um, I would have liked to see him fight uh, Nate Diaz. That fight was being teased around. That would have been a good fight. Uh, so what do you guys think? Khabib Nurmagomedov finally retired. It's finally official. The Eagle, 29-0. and 0, 32 years old in his prime. Do you think he's the GOAT? Do you think he's overrated? Do you like his fighting style? Do you think the names that he's fought are good enough for him to be the GOAT? Obviously, future Hall of Famer. What do you guys think? Thoughts, comments, questions, opinions in the comments section. Khabib Namagamadoff, the Eagle, retired from UFC, 29-0 at the age of 32. Dots, comments, questions, opinions in the comments section.
Blaze One Sports out.